Hello there. Hi. This morning I'm going to make a dos de leche cake. I don't think that's the right pronunciation, but it's a caramel cake and it's from Rachel Allen's cake book. So it's the first time I've ever baked it and uh, I'm really looking forward to doing it. So to start off with, I needed to make some of this caramel or dos de leche as it's called. And I used this brand, which is condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk. And I followed um, her instructions there to boil tins. So you have to cover these tins with boiling water and boil them for, she suggested two hours and then I went on YouTube and people were talking about four hours. So I went with three hours. So you need to be very careful though when you boil them so you, they don't explode. So actually on this, this thing I just noticed that it says do not boil. But needless to say I ignored that. And now I have a couple of spare tins. I did three tins all together. So anyway, I have, this is my caramel here ready to use. It's quite dark. It tastes delicious and uh, like I said, there's a caramel filling and then this caramel goes into the actual sponge itself. So I'm just going to go through the ingredients with you now. So we've got 175 grams or six ounces of butter. So it's lovely and soft. So I suggest you keep it out of the fridge overnight because if having the butter really soft is, is a huge help. It's always a bit of an issue if it's harder. So it's really easy to work with. 100 grams of light brown sugar. I haven't got any, so I'm using caster sugar. Um, a teaspoon of vanilla extract that's still in the press, I'll get it in a second. The 200 grams then of Dulce de Lec. I must look it up and see how you pronounce that, and which is that. I have two eggs and then 25 grams of, oh sorry, 175 grams of self raising flour, and that's here. So I'm going to sift that really well because I, in my experience, making a good sponge, if you get it really well sifted, it makes it a lot lighter. So anyway, I'm going to start putting these together and I'll get back to you then in a few minutes. Bye -bye. Now, I've turned that off. Um, I put in the, so the, I've creamed the butter, the sugar, the um, vanilla extract, and also that I put in the, the caramel or the douche de leche. It, it's gone in there. So I've mixed all those together. So I'm just going to take it out now and just push down the sides to make sure it's all incorporated. And just, I just speak about the tins as well while we're, we're on this. I've lined these, I use these silicone bases, or silicone um, little tins from, for, I, I find them very easy to work with. I've lined them with parchment paper and I've also um, greased the sides of them very well to stop everything from sticking. I've also got my oven ready and it's, a, it's pre, pre um, heated to 180 degrees. So I am just going to work on this for a few minutes and then get to get add the rest of the ingredients. Now I'm going to add in the almonds. I've already add, added the two eggs. I've whisked, I've whisked it now. I've taken it off the, the machine and I'm just going to do this by hand. So I'm adding the ground almonds and then I'm going to um, gently whisk in the flour. Sieve in the flour, I should say. So just for a second now, I'll just go and get my sieve. And here I am back again. So I've got my flour here and I'm going to be very gentle with the mixture. Uh, I'm finding the mixture quite surprisingly sort of dry. It's not a very runny mixture, so I hope it's all okay, but I followed the, the recipe. So I'm sure Rachel Allen can't be wrong. Anyway, I'm going to gently incorporate that to the mixture. I have to say, it does look incredibly dry to me, but we'll see. There we go. So, you can turn that off for a second and I, we can get back to them. Right. Through two. Hi there, I've, I've divided the mixture in two and I've put it into my two um, silicone trays thingies. And um, like I, say, I said earlier on, I'm a bit surprised at how thick the mixture is. So um, it'll be interesting to see. I hope all will be okay with it. But, um, so I'm going to pop it into the oven now and it'll be in there at 180 degrees for 25 minutes. So bye bye, see you soon. Now I'm back again. So what have we got here? I've got, I, I, they came out of the oven after 25 minutes. So they're done. 
and I've left them cooling here on this wire rack for half an hour or so and um, I'm ready now to put it all together. So I've made my um, topping, the filling and the icing. So what that contains um, two or 50 grams of butter, softened butter, uh, seven, 175 grams of dulce select dulce and uh, a teaspoon of vanilla extract and um, 150 grams of icing sugar saved. So that's all been mixed together there. So I'm going to put it together now and I'll take this side as the, the bottom, I think. And I'll pop it up there and I'm going to ice it and I'll, I'll be back to you in a second when it's all done. Right now, so that's the finished product, which I'm kind of pleased with. Um, there's uh, Rachel Allen's actual version. So mine one doesn't look too much different. So hopefully, I won't be able to cut it till tomorrow because I'm bringing it in for a birthday girl tomorrow. So I shall certainly... Um, Take pictures of that of and, and show you a slice of it and let you know what everybody thought of it, all right? So, great baking. Bye-bye. Okay, it's the day after my cake baking yesterday. And uh, this is my Dolce de Leche cake. And it went down really well. So, I'm very happy with the results. It, I, I was a little bit worried that it would be dry because the mixture seemed to be quite heavy going into the tins. But no, it was absolutely delicious. And my cameraman there just had a piece. So what did you think? It was nice. Great. So anyway, well done. So great baking, everybody. And I'll be back hopefully in a couple of days with a cola cake. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.